What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video of today. Uh, <laughs> today, uh, I wanted to start the video off a little bit different. The Bible says to uh, put God first, so that's what we're going to do. And I want to start off this video with the verse of the day. And uh, I say it's a beautiful day out here. And uh, just outside, relaxing, and uh, having a good time. And I hope y'all are as well. But the verse of the day today is Matthew 26, 41. It says, Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I felt this, this verse just because... We all go into tempt have temptations sometime or one another. And uh, I just wanted to let you all know that God provides you a way out of every temptation. And I say, as the, as the verse says, watch and pray. And to me, I felt like whenever you feel that temptation come in, Pray, pray to God, ask Him for the way out, out of it. Ask Him for the answer to get out of it, and to watch, watch for what He's gonna do. Watch for that open door that He's gonna give you. Uh, just this last week, I was going through some stuff, and uh, I say praying for God to just take the step away and to to help me. And I went, I was going through, um, watching some YouTube videos and, uh, there was a, a Stephen Furtick video and I'll put the link up top, but, uh, the Stephen Furtick video was on there, caught my eye and it was titled, God wants to surprise you. And I thought, well, I said, that's, I said, that's not for me. That's not what I'm needing right now. And, uh. But I just felt drawn to it. And so I went ahead and clicked on it and watched it. And surprise, it was exactly what I needed to hear. And uh, what was able to get me away from that temptation, to get me out of it, to set my mind back straight and refocus my focus. And uh, I said, God helped me to get through it. Using that video, that was his way out for me. And uh, I just want to share that with you guys. That if you are feeling tempted, I say just pray and watch for what God's going to do. And uh, he will give you a way out. His word says so. And uh, But with all that being said, I'm going to keep on relaxing out here. Uh, we're going to get into the video. We got us a turkey down in this one. It's a real fun, exciting hunt. Uh, full of unexpected uh challenges and uh i hope y'all enjoy i'll catch y'all later all right good morning it's day three of the turkey season we're about to we just got here right at why they should be coming off the roost here pretty quick if it happened already and uh, i think i can hear one gobbling right now yeah, that way. Alright, we're gonna get all set up. We're gonna see if we can get on him. Y'all stay tuned. Follow along. Let's see what we get into.
Oh god. Last time I heard of it, it sounded like they were going away. We're gonna pack up and start heading that way. I told you. There's a wheat field on the other side. I'm pretty sure that's where they are. our way down to this field and we're gonna see if we can get eyes on them. I think I might have just heard him gobble again. But they ain't gobbled in a while. But on our way here I think I might have just found a shed that beats Cassie's. I'll show y'all. That's about my smallest shit <laughs> that I've ever found. It looks like it had been broken off, so it was bigger. Shed's a shed. Let's go see if we can get on these turkeys. Alright, so we found a tom. He's in the field like I was thinking. But whenever I came down to the crossing, then he was crossing back towards uh, where I was coming from. And went into the tree line. I don't know where he went after that. He was right behind um, at least two, maybe three uh, hens that I saw. And so I don't think he saw me. I think he was just on them. There's some cattle going across so that might have been what ran them off in there. But I think I found where they're roosting at. So if we don't get it done today we'll come set up on this road or something in the morning. Maybe we can get one down. It's starting to warm up already. It's really, really humid. And it's 8.47. Right now we're going to probably start walking on out. And uh, we got another... There's another field on the other side of the road. And usually we can catch them crossing across that. And uh, maybe we can spot some and get them cut off or something. But y'all stay tuned. So far so good. We actually got some goblin and uh, got to lay eyes on some. So we're doing better than we have been. Let's see what we can get into. Alright, so... We're back where... Um, where we saw... We're back where we saw the first Tom. Right on the edge of this field. It's got this opening up here. I'm gonna set up this tent in the corner. I keep on hearing it. A hand, I think.
field right now. Check this out. This stinks because I wasn't recording. But if you remember, we were in a tent. Wind just blew my tent off. With me in it, blew my camera over with a good Tom sitting right in front of us. Blew my bow out of my hand, stuck an arrow through the wall of my tent. That stinks.
brand new tent. Already got two holes in it. Let's see if we can if this guy's still in the field. So I think we're just going to head back to the truck and uh, it's way way too windy to shoot with, with this bow. This stuff I'd have to leave like five, five foot in front of them. But uh, I'm going to go back to the truck and grab the shotgun and uh, maybe we can put a, maybe these ones are still in the field down here. Whenever I went and got lunch, there was uh, two in the field on the way here, so maybe we can put a stock on on those and uh, maybe get one that way. Uh, I got something in my arm. I fell right into a bunch of plum bushes. So. But we're going to hightail it out of here. This wind is horrible, horrible. It's straight out of the north now. So, uh, we're gonna head on out and we'll see what we can get into. Got a Jake up here. If, he, if we can get him to come in, I'm gonna shoot him.
just a Jake, but man. I'd rather end the Jake in the day with the Jake than getting blown out of a blind any day. I think I got it all on video. <laughs> He's just a little guy, but we still get two more tags. Man, this dude was pretty too coming out across here he's all fanned out and uh just strutted his way on right on up called him right up in probably 15 yards and, uh, man. just got it got it done i say we don't this is the most turkey today that i've ever seen around any of the places that we hunt. Normally we don't ever have this many turkeys. And that. So I like take any opportunity that I can. I would really like to have that Tom uh, that we called up earlier. But like I said, tomorrow, uh, weather permitting and uh, God willing, I'm gonna get my grandpa up here. Maybe I can get him on that big Tom. And uh, Put another one in the books. This is my fourth, fourth turkey. First one that I've ever called. Instead of all the other ones, I did the first one I caught. I used a decoy, and he come into the decoy. And the second one, I did a spot and stalk, and the other one was a long time ago, whenever I was a kid. But makes me happy. <laughs> no. been a rough hunt so been fun though oh. just use old no fronky That work for me. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter whether it's a Jake or a Giant Tom or what. It's still a, a rush whenever you get get them to come on in. We had a, a hen came in, maybe ten yards, and I was afraid she was going to bust us. And I think she did kind of spot us, and. Uh, Luckily, he came up close enough. We got shot. But uh, thank you guys for joining us for this hunt. Let's say we got. Uh, I got two more tags, so we're gonna keep on getting after them. Let's well, say you guys wanted to see we shoot one with a longbow, so that I'm determined to get it done. And uh, I learned a lot from this hunt and uh, I think it's gonna help us out in the future but like I say tomorrow I'm gonna see if I can get my grandpa on one he hadn't shot one in a really really long time so we're gonna see if we can call one up and get him one on film and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one see y'all <laughs>